What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art tutorial for Adobe Illustrator. And today I will be teaching you guys how I color inside Adobe Illustrator. We're gonna get straight to the point. I'm not gonna make this video extra long. I'm gonna try to cover everything I can where you can understand it perfectly. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. Hit post notifications so you will be notified every time I drop some heat. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. I'm going to draw like a basketball. And for this method to work, you got to make sure you closing off your lines. Because it, it's kind of like the paint bucket tool. You got to make sure everything closed off. Okay. We got our little basketball. Okay, after you drew your line work, you want to... Come to your selection tool and you want to highlight everything after you got everything highlighted you want to go to object expand appearance and then you want to go to your pathfinder and click merge what that gonna do is it's gonna make all your lines one so after you did that step you want to come over here to your layers and you want to drag this to it this blank sheet of paper to make a copy and lock the top copy and I'm gonna show you why I do that at the end okay make sure your your second layer is selected just pick a random color come over here to your shape tool and drag the color over your line work and then you wanna right click the color go to arrange and send that color to the back now this is how you know you did this step right look at your layers and you will see your line work on top of the color that's how you know you did that step right so after you after you did that you want to come off of it and you want to select everything together and it'll give you like this little blue trace line after you did that, you want to come to your Pathfinder and click Merge again. So now we're merging the colors with the line work. So click, click Merge. And now you can click onto it, right click it, and isolate selected group. Now what that's going to do is it's going to make every color by itself you see so now we can click this i don't want this out color and you can just hit delete and we click this color by itself and we can change it and click this color we can change it to whatever color we want it to be and just you know what i'm saying you just do everything like that the reason I lock the line work on top so I can make a layer between it if I wanted to do like some shades I just made a new layer and put it between the line work and the colors and you can just like make a shadow and whatever you do is gonna go it's going to go like right behind your lines. See what I'm saying? So I always make a copy of my line work. So when I'm shading a picture, it'll just fall behind the line work. Go ahead, hit the thumbs up if you like this tutorial, man. Leave your comments. If you got any questions, I'll try to answer it with another video. And I'm out.